Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. In today's video I'm going to talk a bit about why you should study maths, physics or some kind of hard science at university. Since a lot of you at the moment are writing your personal statement drafts or thinking about applying to university or even in year 10 or year 11 trying to work out what you want to do, hopefully this video will give you a few reasons to motivate yourselves and get through to start studying at university. Before I continue, today's video was sponsored by the Oxbridge Formula an Oxbridge admissions guide for any student interested in applying for the hard sciences at Oxford or Cambridge. Written by Oxbridge graduates, this book is a step-by-step -step guide for how you can best prepare when you're applying for subjects such as maths, physics, computer science, or any hard science at university, particularly Oxford and Cambridge. This book provides a logical approach to each part of the application process for the hard sciences, making your goal of studying a science at Oxford or Cambridge more realistic. This book even has some pretty useful student insights to give you a better understanding of what someone going through the process felt like when they're writing their personal statements or doing their admissions tests. And I really like the section on admissions tests, which have become even more important since the A-level reforms a few years ago. My admissions test for medicine, the biomedical admissions test, the BMAT, was quite difficult. And for those of you applying for things like maths or physics, well, you have to do the maths aptitude test or the physics aptitude test, respectively. And so this book will give you examples and it will guide you step by step through the process to ensure that you maximize your potential and get the best marks possible in those admissions tests to help you develop confidence in your own abilities. And the fact that this book has already been verified as being useful by students and their arsenal of tools when applying to Oxford or Cambridge makes it even more convincing to go out and buy. And lastly, the reason why this book is really nice is because as well as talking you through the different hurdles that you have to pass when applying to Oxford or Cambridge, this book, I think, gives you more of an open mindset about Oxford or Cambridge. It brings back applying to those universities to the fundamentals, and it really highlights on what they're really looking for, and it'll help you develop those things that they're looking for to help you, therefore, put your strongest foot forwards when applying. So forget all those rumours and mythical facts you may have heard about. This book makes it a matter of simply preparing for all parts of the application very well. All in all, I'd say a very good all-round application tool that I think you should get. Go and check out the description down below for the Amazon link. Go and read the reviews for yourself. And I think this will be fantastically useful for all of you. So studying a hard subjects such as maths, physics, biology, or chemistry, computer science, university, what really is the point? For a lot of you who are studying these subjects at a at the moment, it is quite difficult, it is quite a challenge, and you might be finding one subject easier than others, or you might be enjoying all of them and finding them all easy. But that said, let's actually look at why you should actually follow on and carry these subjects to a university level. There are many benefits of doing this, and it isn't simply to do with the facts that you'll have a degree in these subjects at the end of the day. More importantly, it's the transferable skills you'll gain from doing such a hard science at university that will be the most important. So the first main reason as to why you should study a subject that is a hard science is simply you will learn fundamental skills and fundamental knowledge. You will learn and understand fundamental scientific theories. You will improve your mathematical rigor, having to prove formulas, having to understand how different formulas link together, different concepts, different theorems link together. And lastly, you will gain practical skills because for a lot of the hard sciences, a lot of time will be spent in the labs. If you're doing computer science, you will have computer science labs. If you're doing physics, then you'll be, let's say at Cambridge in the Cavendish laboratory doing experiments. So whatever hard science you do, you'll develop these three key skills, theoretical skills, mathematical rigor, and practical skills. And these skills will set you up for practically anything you'll do in your life, whether it's going to property management or going to investment banking, or even going into hardcore science research. Now the really important thing to understand when learning the fundamentals through subjects such as a hard science is that these fundamental facts are unlikely to change for a long time. This is very different to subjects like business or subjects like management or subjects like uh, media production or advertising, whereby you know, things are more periodic. Things change as the times change. There are trends which you have to account for. And maybe in 30, 40 years time, because what you've learnt is you've learnt sort of applied knowledge, your applied knowledge may no longer be relevant. Whereas if you learn something fundamental, because you've got these fundamental skills and a fundamental understanding, you can apply your knowledge yourself as the circumstances around you change. This is a bit of a complicated point and maybe not all of you will understand. But if you do understand what I'm trying to get to, then I'm happy to hear. Now the second main reason for why you should do a hard science is because of good industry job prospects wherever you go in the world. Now the jobs that you'll be lined up to do will not only be stable jobs, but they'll also be very well paying jobs in the long term. From industries such as manufacturing to banking to consultancy, 
there is always going to be a place for you to work. All of these industries love the academic rigor students who've studied the hard sciences come with because they're loaded with skills. Someone who studied physics is not only going to be good at maths, but also they can communicate well. Why? Because they've written loads and loads of lab reports, which trains them up to write concisely and coherently. An investment bank, for example, is going to love how on the ball and quick on their feet a chemistry graduate will be. Why? Because this chemistry graduate has had three years of having to be able to quickly look up chemistry research papers, of having to quickly make decisions when a laboratory technique goes wrong. So because the hard sciences, these degrees involve a variety of different tasks and many disciplines, these graduates are going to be highly skilled in different areas. The last key reason for why you should do a hard science is simply the variety of opportunities you'll get. Yes, you will get a job all the time, that was the second reason, but the third reason is looking at the variety of jobs. So let's put this into context to better visualise what I'm talking about. So let's say you've got someone who's starting mathematics at Cambridge, they're in their first year. This student, if they want, they can stay on, do three years of maths, do a master's in maths, and then even do a PhD in maths, and then go into mathematical research, and then eventually become a lecturer at the university, and eventually become a fellow at the university, getting involved in hardcore mathematics research, whilst also teaching the next generation of mathematicians. Equally so, this first year mathematics student can develop their skills in finance, can develop their skills in coding, and then go into a quantitative finance route, and then leave after three years or four years, and then go straight into a very well-paying job where they're earning five figures and living a rather good life. The third scenario could be that this mathematics student enjoys mathematics, but doesn't enjoy it sufficiently to you know, warrant a mathematics research career or a finance career, but instead, let's say they have an interest in biology, then they might go into, for example, bioinformatics and mathematical biology, where they then start working with biology researchers, and they might be working for the latest neuroscience or psychology models, where they're trying to predict how human behaviour works, or they might be developing artificial intelligence, or those sorts of technologies. So do you see how a degree in mathematics can open up all these different routes? When I first thought of mathematics, I simply thought, well, you know, all you do is do math for three years, and then, I don't know, you do some accountancy, or you do some, I don't know, I, didn't, I had literally no clue about what a mathematician would do after the degree. But only having gone to university did I come to appreciate how skilled they truly were and how many opportunities a degree such as that could bring. So just to summarise this video, let's go through the three reasons again. Firstly, doing a hard science will give you fundamental skills that you will keep for the rest of your life, which will help you in many situations. Number two, you'll have pretty good job prospects, and most likely you'll be able to secure jobs that are high paying rather easily. And reason three, you've got a wide range of opportunities. Doing a degree such as hard sciences will ensure that whatever you're interested in is something you can follow because science has come to a point where there's so much collaboration between the different fields that whatever is specifically interesting you, you can go down and you can really become a specialist in and can learn about the topic to new extents. So hopefully this discussion video was useful. If you did enjoy it, please do like the video. It really helps me out. And lastly, don't forget to subscribe. I've got loads of good videos coming out, uh, as you guys can see, and as you guys will see in the future. Once again, thank you so much to the publishers of the Oxbridge Formula for making this video possible. If you are applying for a subject such as maths, physics, engineering, computer science, then definitely check this book out. And even if you are still doubting me, just check out the price of this book. Given what it is, there's nothing you can lose. So get out there, go to the description and check the link out. And last but not least, if you have any comments or if you have any questions, then please do use the box down below and ask me and I will answer. And make sure to follow me on Instagram or Twitter. I'm a bit more active on there, so I'd love to hear from you also. As always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys soon in the next video. Bye-bye.